Hello everyone. This is just a quick update. I hope you're all doing well tonight. Dorian is stalled off on the East Coast. It's got a very well-defined eye. But, of course, this is part of the uh, weaponization we all know about. The Schumann is doing unprecedented activity tonight. The red is up to 70 decibels. But the white and green are 80 and 90, respectively. And then when you go up into the blue part of the graph, you're going from 90 to 100 and over. So as you can see, it's really pumping out. Now, it shows differently on this graph. And I'm not even sure... If this is recording the Schumann anymore. What's happening is the two frequencies between 5G and Schumann are having a frequency war. And um, when the 5G ramps up, it does so to contact the nanos. The nanos in your body need energy. So the Schumann, uh, when it comes on, it knocks that off. And so the 5G goes higher and higher and higher, trying to get uh, the energy through to the nano. And then it can't do it. This causes it to overclock. And uh, it overclocks the uh, hard drives of the AI. And so things break down. And you're getting some really cool graphic breakdowns. Pretty funny, actually. Um, but if you're having trouble with the um, frequency, I found this a few days ago from Jesse Peterson. Now, I thought it was a really good uh, and informative talk. But he kept talking in there about silent prayer and so I went to look at that and see what he had now what he's calling a silent prayer according to him all thought is from the devil and it was rather interesting because I came upon this a few days or a week after I'd asked a similar question how do you tell the difference when the AI they said when it's good thoughts, it's being sent from heaven. When you're hearing bad thoughts, it's from the underworld. And that was how they distinguished it. So, what he's doing is, I believe, teaching what we used to call uh, the golden silence. And that's an amazing thing all by itself. But his advice on how to do this is a really good way to balance out any issues you might be having over the frequency because it will pump up your emotions and ramp you up or it'll off balance you depends on how low your normal frequency actually is now this is an effort to get everybody up higher uh, in order to be able to make the gate. We were at a very, very low frequency. We were at 7.8. What they're showing is that the frequency and the amplitude is from the 80s. It started rising. And so we noticed it in the 80s. And it was throwing the ships off because they use that... Um, frequency for communication and navigation as to GPS and all. So as it was rising, they had to recalibrate all their equipment over and over and over. It just kept going up and up. We heard about, I think it was the 90s, when it went up to 11, and it was like unprecedented. They regulate, the uh, FCC regulates frequency because anything above your normal brainwave 
can actually fry your brain. So, and in order to get a license, you have to go within a particular band. So that's my take on that, but the prayer does help. It's not like a prayer like you normally think of. You know, Boogeyman talked about um, how he got his name. He said it's because the things he sees and talks about are so scary. And I don't strip back the pictures very often. There are scary things on these pictures. And so I thought to do it on another video. But as you can see, the square item. I mean, these are objects and a doorway. And what looks on this blue is not the same thing that looks on the green. You see different things in different spectrums. So, and it's a true, especially for the red. But I'll make that on another video. This is just a short update. So I'll leave the links below for the silent prayer. And does it take courage? And let him explain to you what he's talking about on it. It does, however, help balancing all the pressure. You'll feel a pressure in your head. You'll feel a headache. Uh, some people get nauseous from the 5G. Uh, but you don't get that really from the shooting, I've noticed. So the 5G seems to be the one that really makes us sick. Anyway, let me know your thoughts and have a wonderful day.